right, Steve Spangler is joining us now. We're going to do a cool party trick, and apparently I only need one buck. One dollar, but you're going to graduate. I'll promise you're going to be doing this with other money. Okay. Before you do that, you have to grab this first. I cut these out of cardboard, so grab okay. both of them. There's the yellow one and there's the red one. So you kind of hold the red, yellow one over the red one like this, kind of put them together. Notice that the yellow one is smaller than the red right. one. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Watch this. I can do it in your hands. Ready? Switch spaces. Put the red on the top and the yellow on the bottom and watch what happens. <gasps> is that crazy? How, now, it, how does that happen? I know. When it's even in your hands, you're going, wait, wait, wait how a in the world does this the happen? Because <laughs> yes. your eyes have played a trick on you. It's probably so, one of the oldest yes. and most clever optical illusions. Isn't it true that your eyes are doing a comparison that's weird? Watch this. Put them on top of each other and show the viewers at home they're exactly the same. Because exactly. I remember seeing them on the table. I'm like, you, they're the same size. You can do this at Starbucks. If you take off the uh, the the cup holder, you know, uh -huh. the little thing that's there, and you open it up, it looks like this when you open it up. So you do a smaller version of it. Look at what happens. Ah. Whatever you hold on the bottom, your eye compares Pins this line that. here to this line here, and, then, and the bottom will always look bigger. Doesn't that look crazy? I teach kids how to stretch bananas in the uh, in the supermarket, so you just kind of hold the banana and see which one's, and then, but then my kids thought you really stretch a banana, and that's a whole like, different story. And that's mushy. The, I want you to think about optical illusion, okay. right? So uh, viewers at home, here's what I want you to do is I want you to get a dollar bill. I'm going to show you how to fold it, and it's going to be really tough to do that, so I have a, a big dollar bill so that you can see what's going on. Okay. okay, so if you'll take your money, so here's our big dollar bill. Here's what you're going to do is I'm going to hold it very still. You're going to fold right on the eyeball right there. So you see how we fold right it there. on the eyeball? Right across the uh, the eyeball, you're going to do a little fold. Then you're going to go to this side over here. You're going to do another eyeball. You're going to fold it across. all the way down like that. Both eyeballs. Okay, both okay. eyeballs. And then you're going to do what's called a valley fold where you fold the, the uh, nose in place. I know that seems weird, but you're going to now put like, those two together. Like a little and fold them in place. Like you're Got it. A little fan. That's what you're going to do. Okay. All right. So believe it or not, now I'm going to hold it very, very still. Kind of watch what happens, and I'll look in the camera like this. If you get as close as you can, and we come up like this, George will smile. So do you see George smiling right there? Mm -hmm. So George is smiling. Now watch this as we tip it down. Look at George. Oh, George frowns. Is that crazy? And so now it looks like George actually changes his smile. Happy, there's a smile, sad. and Happy there's George. A, a sad. sad and it's all over there. But now watch. It's 50 times better. I'm going to do it with a grant. So look at this. The Perspective is this. Watch what happens with a grant. I, I, you and I both have never I had one of these in our life. So watch this. Yeah. So there is a smile right there. So here's our smile, and here's our frown, which is crazy. Is that fun? Huge difference. So uh, the deal is this. Believe it or not, teachers are using at the beginning of school. They're using something like this, which is a simple little optical illusion in perspective to be able to ask kids. So how, what, what behaviors do we have for this year? And kids come up with crazy things. They'll say things like, "Always keep your." chin up. You always have a positive attitude when you're looking up. There are those people who always frown really hard to smile when you're looking down. It's something as simple as that little thing there can happen with a dollar bill at the table, but I can't tell you how much, how fun that is to just sit there and kind of go oh, frown and happy, happy and sad and so forth. And funny okay. how the whole thing kind of works. I love it. Do Thank we have, you. okay, before we go to a yes. break. Oh, yes. Do, okay. do the hundred and I'll I do the twenty. I was going to say something set. else we okay, can dream we about holding. Here we okay. Go, here we go. Up, up, up. We're up like this, nice, and we're back down like this. Oh, it's so perfect. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? See? Look, tip him, tip oh, him wait, that I way. Tip him up, tip him up. There tip you go, him tip up. him. Okay. There you go, tip. Oh, smile, and now go frown. And look at that. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep. Oh, it's so sad.